when you're thinking about how to lead your team, just say, hey, I see you improving. A lot of positive reinforcement can go a long way. Same thing with incentive plans. If you can put incentive plans into place, it shows recognition, hard work. There's something that makes all that pain just feel a little bit easier, a little bit better, a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. This happens all the time. We go into an agency and we announce change and you see the look of people's faces. All we do is change. This is all we've been doing. We just change, 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 change. And I always think to myself in the back of my head, said, I, I happen to like change, but I can appreciate that that's not everybody's jam. So I always think to myself in the back of my head, okay, if we don't change, we're going to become blockbuster. And that's my biggest fear because at 41 years old, I still, still have 24 years here. So I got to figure this out. And I want to figure it out, to be honest with you. And if we don't change, what's the alternative? So what I think happens and what I've seen happen, what I actually know happens is when we present change, we don't think about it from the perspective of we have to grieve an old way of doing things. People, especially in the insurance space, like to come in, minimize risk. So we add risk in when we're doing something new that we're not as comfortable with. And I think that the keys really to success are going to be us stopping and identifying change is hard. So we have a statement, it's called the FFTs, the freaking first times. First times we do anything, it's going to be messy. There's going to be mistakes. The login's not going to work, all these things. Then we add into it the second component, which is you have to do something 10 times. You got to get your reps in. I call it getting the wiggles out. Some people call it getting the reps in. And, you know, we just have to identify that that's an awkward period. You know, the first time I started running, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> but then you get kind of better at it. Or the first time you challenge yourself to do something new. You know, a lot of us, as we get older, don't put ourselves in, in, in uncomfortable situations. And we probably should, to be honest with you. But we don't. And I think that that's an opportunity for us to remind ourselves that that uncomfortableness makes us more comfortable. The more we're uncomfortable, the better off we are at it. And I also think, too, to make your team feel better about change is you have to be their biggest cheerleader. You have to believe for them for a while till it clicks. You know, if you think about a great mentor or leader or coach you've ever had, they saw potential. They knew you could do it. You just had to put the work in. You got to get those reps in. And so when you're thinking about how to lead your team, just say, hey, I see you improving. A lot of positive reinforcement can go a long way. Same thing with incentive plans. If you can put incentive plans into place, it shows recognition, hard work. There's something that makes all that pain just feel a little bit easier, a little bit better, a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. And so as you're going through change, realize that there's steps to change, right? There's denial and then frustration and then aggravation. And then it sort of clicks and it starts to get better because we have adoption. But the way that people deal with change is actually the same way we deal with grief. We sort of have to grieve the process. So those are our tips on how to make your team feel better about change. If you do this, I guarantee your team's going to appreciate all your hard work.